Good morning. Welcome back to my channel and thank you again for tuning in. Um, today I have another tea recipe for you. Uh, this one, uh, I made this last season and didn't record it. So I thought I would record it for you guys for this season. Um, but I call this recipe spring fling. I know we're coming up on spring soon. I'm ready for it. So we're gonna start with a pomegranate lift off. I've already pre-crushed mine so that it dissolves easily in the water. This is a 32 ounce cup with just a couple ounces of warm water. And we are going to add a lift off right to the water. And for some of you, I'm sorry if these videos are a little long. I got told this morning in a comment that my videos are too long and just get on with the recipe. So, um, I'm going to keep creating these slower step-by-step -step videos for you guys. But, uh, as you know, if you're already in my Facebook group, I type up all of my recipes there. So I share the recipe with the video. If you are a part of that group, then you will see it there. Um, when I post the video. So, but if you want to join that Facebook group, all you have to do is click in the description, look in my link tree, and I've got my Facebook group there, my Amazon storefront, everything that I have to run my business is right in that link tree. So feel free to join if you just aren't into the videos and want my recipes. Um, I don't I don't have them typed up. A lot of people have asked that. I don't have files, I don't have any of that. I just share them in my group and then I actually use my YouTube as kind of a recipe book so I go back to it and then so does like my fiance and stuff when he wants to make teas or my mom so I have a lot of clients that prefer to watch a video as they make it too so don't worry I'll keep them coming. So this is the pomegranate liftoff. The tea that we're going to add is the raspberry herbal tea. And we're gonna use our Herbalife measuring spoon. And it's gonna be this half a, half a teaspoon side. So we're gonna do that and put one scoop into the cup. The aloe that we're gonna to use today is the cranberry aloe. And we're going to do a full tablespoon. That's this bigger side of the Herbalife spoon. You can also do three capfuls, but I find that it gets my bottle all sticky inside of the cap and stuff, and I just don't like the messiness of it. It's just easier to measure out a tablespoon. It works out to the same serving. And then the drink mix that we're gonna put on the bottom, I know you can't see these labels, I need to redo them. This is strawberry kiwi. It is an Herbalife beverage enhancer that you can get from your coach. It's a distributor only flavor. If you would like some of the distributor only your flavors, you don't have a coach, you're looking for a coach, uh, your coach doesn't sell them, feel free to reach out to me. Again, in that link tree, I even have my cell phone link there. So reach out to me, let me know you're looking for drink mixes and I'll help you out. I am going to heap this half a teaspoon up a little bit just to give it that little extra flavor. And that's it for the bottom. Excuse my frother, guys. I have a new one coming today. If you use these, you know they do not last forever if you're making two to four teas a day, which I do for me and my fiance. So excuse my frother that's definitely not mixing the way that it needs to. I don't know what's going on with it. Batteries are new and it still doesn't turn on, so I'm thinking my daughter's messed with it one day and got it sticky or something. So that is the bottom layer. Now we're going to add our ice. A lot of people ask me, how do you get the layers to separate? How do you get the layers to separate? Lots and lots of ice. As you can see, I used crushed ice out of my ice maker. That is what I prefer to do because... Um, I drink these teas over about an hour to two hours. So as the ice melts, I don't lose flavor. So just like that, now we're gonna mix the top layer. And the top layer is another Herbalife flavor that you can get from your coach. It's a distributor only flavor, I'm pretty sure. Lavender lemon. 
A lot of asked me what this tastes like. It has a very light hint of lavender, but it's also pretty sweet compared to the, the I think the other lemonade and the pink lemonade are pretty strong. So we're gonna do a half a teaspoon and we're just gonna level this one off. Just like that, half a teaspoon right into our cup. See if I can just get it dissolved without the fluff, without the frother. We're good to go. Now let me froth it for a second just to get. Now I'm going to add some cold water to this and we're going to pour it over our bottom. All right, and so you guys can see it. I'm going to bring it close. And then... That is it. That is the Spring Fling Loaded Tea. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I really like it. Um, really quickly, I do want to thank you for all of your support. Thank you for all the likes, all the comments, all the subscribes, all the shares and suggestions. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I spent some time last night putting together some new recipes that I want to record for you guys. So, um... I have some really yummy shakes coming. I also have some crepes coming, some pancakes coming, and a couple of other things. So stay tuned, turn on your notifications so you know when I post these awesome videos. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great rest of your day.